Welcome! This is the last episode of how to make Among Us in Unity. We have covered a lot of things from different tasks to networking with Photon. If you are seeing this as your first episode, I've created a playlist that will help you navigate through these tutorials. It should appear right now on the screen. I'm Adrian and welcome to Redefine Game Dev. While the How to Make Among Us wraps up, we have a lot of game dev stuff incoming. For example, we have Game Jam that's going right now. If you're interested in that, join the Redefiners gang on Discord. Regarding the Among Us project, if you want a shortcut, you can grab the pack from itch.io. Currently, it's a winter sale, so you get a good discount if you hurry. With that said, let's wrap things up with the last episode of How to Make Among Us. This episode, we will enable the players to customize their characters in the game. Of course, the customization is a big topic and we will be covering only one element of it customizing the player's hat. Armed with this knowledge, you will be able to sync other parts of the player and even more. To start this tutorial, we need to create in the player prefab the support for items. I like to keep every item there, even the invisible ones. Once the player picks one item, we will hide the other items and show that one. Let's quickly jump into the player sync script because here is how we will synchronize the customizable parts over the network. We need to keep track of the current selected hat for each player but this time it's just for the current player. So just before wrapping up the update network package, we also need to include the hat's unique ID as an integer and send it. On the other player's side, while unwrapping the network package, we will also get the hat index. Lastly, we will put the update code necessary to update the hat locally. Now that we have the sync part, we need a way to enable the player to pick up the hat. Let's use the lobby for this. To display the hat, we will use a new UI image. To the sides of the image, there will be two buttons that will allow the player to cycle through the options. Of course, one option is to have no hat.
Coming to the code, the head select script is not complex at all. All you need to keep is the head list, the index for the current one, and the functionality to enable cycling through them. The onHead change function is made to work with both back and forward buttons. They will have different parameters, 1 and minus 1, depending on the direction. The index will go back and forth, in or but in order to prevent the overflowing, the current hat index, that is from 0 to the maximum number of hats, we will use the clamp functionality. To enable the use of the selected value across multiple scenes, we will use the player prefs, a storage provided by Unity. When working on the head select, it's easy to forget to initialize the first state. We will do so now. Next comes the button rigging to the script. Note that we can specify the parameters in Unity's inspector. And for the testing, everything works as expected. Awesome. The last step is to provide the player sync script, the hat index which we picked in the lobby. After this, the functionality should work straight away. You can give it a try. And this concludes the how to make Among Us in Unity tutorial series. See you in the next one, I'm Adrian and I'm signing out.